Hello everybody, in this video I want to show you an amazing, insane build for the Catalyst. Yeah, you asked for me to make a build for the Catalyst and it was on my list and it's time. So what this build is all about? Well, it's a refreshing build, but the key thing in this build, keep this in mind, the key thing in this build is chains, right? So what is chains? If you are new to the game, uh, I'm going to show you. <coughs> because it's a builded uh, perk, I need to show you here. Uh, let me just find one. Oh, here we go. Chains. As a 30% ch uh, chance to chain a cluster of mobs together and keep them bound for a short time, for 3 second duration when it's level 3. Now, the key here, these serve several purposes. First of all, indirect damage reduction. We don't need to deal with many enemies at the same time. As you can see, I even dropped Iron and Amulet. Bye bye, Iron and Amulet. Alright? Instead, we're going to use Satchel. Uh, Satchel of Elixir. More about this in a second. Um, again, crowd control. Uh, we're going to deal with them. Preferably one by one or just uh, you know small groups of enemies not all together This is great for when enemy rush at you. They have buff. They're moving fast Some enemy move fast by default others get buff with raid cat and they can move even faster and as you know uh, This give up even more time to get refreshment Right and then jump in and initiate the fight which you can do with burst damage with gong and uh, but once I burst into enemies if I decide to I already have healing potion ready so, for example, I can just hit one enemy, second enemy, get refreshment, and then burst in and eliminate enemies. Kind of a play, nice play, where you kind of uh, take them one by one. Once you get refreshment, then you go in and eliminate them. And you can also, you have time even to plan where you want to go, because this gives you more time. Enemies are chained, so they are not won't be moving, and you can actually... And this is also, uh, but you time to, for example, just uh, activate such a elixir keep uh, pick up the potion the strength perfect potion if you have one or any other potion or if you want to escape you can just pick up uh, uh the one that allows you to become invisible and you know you have lots of time to actually play uh to uh plan your next play which is pretty cool uh and again this is great for red captains because uh, you're gonna control enemies so you're not gonna jump into enemies and just pray that you're gonna get refreshment you have such a great degree of crowd control that it allows you to really kind of uh, uh, control the fight rather than kind of uh, pray in certain situation that you're gonna get what you want to get. So in many situation, uh, you're gonna be very, very safe with this build, even with raid captains and doing daily trials and other type of things. Especially when enemies have different buffs and you have different debuffs. When you have, for example, less health, the enemies have more health, you need more time to eliminate them, right? So this buys you more time, the chains. It's amazing. And this is what allows me to actually drop the iron and amulet but we have also uh, a damage reduction we use wither armor uh with a lifesteal war as you can see this is lifesteal war of course it comes with a built in but it give us the healing because uh, aside from the refreshment we're going to have often uh we don't have any healing here right so the healing we're going to get from the lifesteal war and of course when you use the potion we have damage reduction include from the deflect as well um cooldown and potion barrier which is a must here by the way uh, i use the mechanical short bow but you can use uh because we're gonna have such of elixir that can drop you uh item to give you speed right uh you can actually uh use one with anima conduit for extra healing and this has a cooldown reduction as well so uh basically you can use this one or this one or if you have one with both tempo theft and anima conduit and cooldown shot and burst bursting the gilded one use it of course but in the gameplay that I'm going to show you, I use this one, all right? So you're going to use Depth Cap Mushroom, Satchel of Elixirs, and Gongo Weekend. Keep in mind that you can, the, the cool thing in this build, that you have great current control, but at the moment you decide you are ready to burst in, all right? Because you're just going to, enemy going to be chained, and you decide, all right, this is the time. You activate Refreshment, and then you can actually activate Satchel of Elixir, preferably getting a Strength Potion. Uh, and gong and just eliminate the group of enemies very very fast again so you can go face like straight to the face you can control them from far and give you more time to do the things that you are depends of course on the situation this works amazingly well uh and yeah and i'm so happy to drop the i1 and amulet huh? feels great so let's watch gameplay i'm gonna explain more all right now pay attention to the way that i play first of all i'm using shift at certain situations all right you can see it just setting in place uh, just keep keeping damage instead of moving forward you can use it or not use it depends of course on the situation so shift is an option as you can see here 
And you can see that once I activate the potion, I'm bursting in. And then activate everything, taking the potion, uh, the uh, strength rate potion if I drop it, use the gong and just burst in. Now I'm using it first to get it again, to get the uh, heat of the refreshment. Enemies of course pause, they're not rushing at me, you see they are chained. And if I have it, the refreshment ready, I can just burst in again. Alright, this kind of a cycle that is very, very powerful. I have it again, if I activate it, I can just burst in. I'm not gonna stay, you know, I'm just activating and now you can see that I'm just bursting in with going with everything, clear everything up. Then another group of enemies come, they are changed, it buys me more time to do things. You see, they are changed, I can even pick, there's so, so much time picking things up and just continue attacking. Look how much time I actually have. This is just crazy. Now I have the potion ready and I can just burst in the moment I decided to do so. And you can just burst in. Take the potion, jump in and do lots of burst damage in and clear everything. And just do this again repeatedly. Right? Even if there's an enemy that can do lots of damage, they're still going to get, you know, they're going to wait <laughs> in turn one by one. And then I'm probably going to have already refreshment available. As my weapon, there's nothing actually that can steal the damage like exploding or uh swirling you know shockwave nothing like that and the good thing that i don't need exploding here because enemies are kind of chained in a way so it's not that it's much less useful i mean this is great exploding is great when you have enemies cramped together and they get hit by the exploding of others but because they're chained here it's not useful this is not using exploding here at all so this works so well like carefully crafted for this particular type of play buys you time you can grab up things even if you want to get out you still have time you know we can actually drop elixir you get extra speed uh, but again most of the time you have control over the battle so you won't even need to escape it, uh, on the contrary you want to find the opportunity to just burst in because you have of course your potion ready because of the refreshment of course it doesn't mean that you need to activate the, refre the healing potion here for example I'm not activating at all because it's very easy to deal with the enemies. It's just keeping it. Maybe, you know, very soon you're going to be in a situation where I need it. So I'm not going to just spend it, but I can if I want to. So as you can see, this kind of a cycle of CC, crowd control, with burst the moment I want to, uh, works so, so well. And because uh, we don't need to deal with all enemies at the same time, this scales so well with Raid Captains and many other debuffs and buffs that can actually occur. Because we have time to do things to kind of manage the battle, rather than find ourselves in a situation uh, where, you know, it's kind of edgy. We have very, very much control over uh, the combat here in most situations. Again, the most important thing is to make sure that we have the potion ready to use. And because enemies are kind of stuck, we do have, because we eliminate enemies one by one, we got a potion, we jump in, clear. We don't have to activate the potion, it's up to us. But this is the cycle, and this cycle scales so well with uh, top, I mean, as uh, for higher difficulties, daily trials, which I'm doing here, daily try three. And of course, raid captains, it works so, so well. You can see here, I'm just rolling as well to reduce the cooldown uh, of, uh, of course, the gong, which I want to use. And already have it, and I can use it again if I want to. Look at this, so much control over the battle. This is just good for anything. Now, of course, keep in mind that you can use other weapons, all right? But I just use it because I got a nice drop for the Cutlass, which I was waiting for, uh, and I wanted to actually create a build with this. But uh, this kind of uh, control with the chains, it's very, very powerful. And again, as I say, it scales very, very well, and this is why I highly recommend using it. Even if you have other weapons, but this specific one, I made, you know, for the Cutlass, because it works well with the Cutlass as well. And I got a nice drop for it. But if you have another weapon that you can use, uh, it needs to be a bit fast, of course, because it won't change to weapon quite frequently. Uh, it can work uh, good as well. So this is it. Hope you enjoyed this one. This is a very, very, very powerful build. So make the best of it. You're going to have fun with this, I promise you. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you on the next video. Consider subscribing to my channel. Give this one a little like. I'll see you soon on the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.